This is our next project we are starting on. This is one of the three bedrooms and it does have vinyl flooring. And it's actually in pretty good shape. So we're just gonna clean it up. Clean up some of the dirt on the walls because this is like that vinyl um, paneling. And you just clean up, especially around the light switches, you can see dirt. But we won't have to paint this room. We'll get a new blind. We'll change out the dog dish um, covers for the lights, which I call them because they're plastic. And it has a little closet here. So there's not much to do in here. And then walking down the hallway, we're coming into a little bathroom. Just has to really clean this up too. Um, the little bathroom, since it's small, we are going to paint it. It's going to patch up all the little holes you see. Get stickers off the toilets and tubs. Really clean it up. Put a towel rack up in here. It does have a shower curtain rack. Um, I'm not a big fan of dog holes, and that one has like a hole there, so that one's going to get changed out and a better looking one is gonna be put in. So that noise you hear is Steve taking out some drywall that we have to repair. Now we do have a little hole and I will show you later what type of trick I do for these little holes so we don't have to replace this whole door. We will have to replace the knob because it's not turning. And these plastic knobs they put originally into mobile homes, they end up breaking super fast. But this also has some vinyl flooring throughout the hallway as well. It's the same as this bedroom. We're going to leave it. This big piece of rolled brand new rug is actually going to go in the living room. Now we come into the little room in, in the middle. Looked like there was a dog scratching, so they kind of covered it up with this wallpaper. We took it off to make sure there was no damage to the drywall, so we will just sand this down lightly. A little bit of mud if we need to. And since this room really doesn't need to be painted, we'll just paint this one wall here like a feature wall. And then there's a closet that looks pretty good. But the walls are in decent shape. They just need to be wiped down. There's a couple of dirty spots. And we don't have to worry about painting in here. And I took out all the vent covers. I took them out because I'm going to clean them up really good. And then we're going to suck that out with a vacuum cleaner. Get all the dirt. Some leftover wood from our other project that we just brought over here. Some door skins that I use for the window seals. They're actually pretty good. We take a door apart that is really broken and we can use them for trim. Like you see there, like you see up there on the windows. And then coming out here, we just pulled out the carpet today. And the carpet that you see right there, that is what's going to go in here and another vent that I took out. Put some new blinds in here. We're gonna leave this one up for now so that we have privacy. This is the front of the house. Um, the door's gonna need some good cleaning inside and out. And leave the peephole there. Just clean this up really good. We'll put a little mud floor right here since this house does not have an awning. So this way, if they come in with wet shoes, it's not gonna be right on the carpet right away. We'll cut out a big square here, probably about a four by four. Now all the windows and all the window seals will have to get redone. Like this, this is why we save door skins. We pull this all out, make sure the frame is not damaged or we have to replace the two by four frames or whatnot. When we come over here and this is a kitchen and Steve just took down the stove vent um, a lot of little things we have to do in here besides paint the living room, but we'll have to re-put the strip up um, on top of here. The Formica countertop needs to be re-glued. 
but other than that, it's in pretty good condition. So this living room is definitely going to get a nice paint job. And then a nice little cover for this area here. This is a small little kitchen, but it's big enough. It looks roomy because it's not bombarded with a lot of kitchen cabinets, but you got a nice space there for a good sized table. The side of the fan does work, it just needs some major cleaning, so we'll get this and all the blades down and everything and clean it up real good. The floor is really good in here, so we're just going to clean this up. We're going to keep it, and this is the only really drywall repair we have to do in this house. Um, it came in, it was wet through the vent where the exhaust goes out, so we're going to go on the outside and seal it up real good. Put a brand new um, vent hood for the stove. Most of the wood looks like it's still good because even though it looks black, it still feels pretty solid. Yeah, it's so just... we may not have to replace any wood. No, we'll just have to wipe it down, spray some Clorox on it, and um, clean it all up. We'll put some new drywall up here. I'll know more when I get all this stuff out and I'll test the wood down there at the bottom and see how solid it is. Yeah, if it's in any damage on the frame down there. Yep. But the insulation, clean it up a little bit, looks still good that we can um, use it. And it did come with a refrigerator, so we're going to leave it in here for a tenant. It's like an actual bonus. And as long as it's working while they're renting, they get to use it, but once it dies, they have to replace it. So we purchased this home and it came with a nice refrigerator. And these are our new landings that lead out to the back door. So this is a nice little wooded area. And perhaps we can kind of trim some of the bushes and trees down a little bit. It's winter time, so things are pretty dead. But, you know, if you like the country and you like quiet, um, this house is in a nice little location. As you probably can see up there, that's the other house we were working on. We're finished with that. And we just gotta get some stuff here in the yard picked up. But this is a nice little shaded area. If people want some peace and quiet, they'll definitely have it out here. Just, you know, wood pieces and um, oh, some more of the skirting that we get to take back. That was the rest of the old skirting. So in the back, we put the beige up and we ran it here a little bit and off to the side, but uh, we utilize the majority of the red metal skirting that the house came with. But you never know because depending on how you level the house out and you know the length that you're gonna need. So we always reuse the skirting if it's in good condition. And this also comes with a washer and dryer. We tested this today and washer is not working too good but the dryer is so we'll leave that in here. And we come over here, and this is like the master bathroom. A little bit of, you know, kind of wondering if I should reutilize this. I might cut the legs off and put it above the toilet for extra shelving for towels and stuff. And then there's the vanity. And then the bathroom window, tub that needs to be cleaned out. I did have some handicap rails in here, so I'm going to seal those up. Put some silicone and caulk in there. We'll leave this one up. It's always nice to have a little rail to grab onto to step out. And the first thing I told Steve, see that vent back there? They actually designed this bathroom nice. Usually they always put the vent in front of the tub. So when you step out, guess what? The vent gets wet. So it's nice that this one doesn't have that. And this is supposedly the master. This is the padding. It looks like it's in decent shape, so we'll just vacuum it really good, spray it down, deodorize it. And in here, we're, we really don't have to paint. We'll just leave this wallpaper up. Just clean a couple of spots like that. The window sill looks good in here. Get the windows clean. Uh, the blinds look good, so we get to leave that. There's some hangers up there. Somebody put if they want to put some curtains over, they can. But we'll come in here and have to uh, um, look at the flooring because there was a watering he heater in here which belongs there. And as you can see, 
you know, it looks like, oh my God, mold's growing, but it's surface. And you can wipe that down and you can spray it with a bleach cleaner that we call Instacon and it really kills any kind of mold. And um, it'll whiten it up as well. But it's gonna be airing out. You'll see the difference in the before and after. That will not hurt you, okay? So we're gonna check all of this, and yes, we will put carpet back in here, but this is the master's um, closet. And we gotta put a new water heater and get that all connected. And that's about it. So, it's hallway. Furnace. Aaron's gonna come in and check this, make sure it's working, get the right um, filter for it. Probably have to get a new thermostat. And this is the breaker box. And this is outside, in the back. So the front, take you out there real quick, so you can see the front. And we have new landings here too. A lot of junk we pulled out today that we got to put in the truck, the old carpet. But there's the other house we finished up there, and it's in the quiet part of the country. So if you like the country, this is what you get. There are some houses way back there, but this um, house is facing the little dirt road here that leads out to Jones Wire. You turn right and goes out to the main road, takes us back out to uh, Lexington. So, Swansea is about 40 minute drive from where we live. So, we want to make sure when we come out that we have a lot to do that we can finish. And this just passed inspection the very first time. So, Dustin did a good job for us on that. And of course, we got to fix either replace or get a cover for this if it works. And um, that's about it. So we'll keep you posted and little projects that we do in here and we'll share that with you.